I'm trying Chamberlain coffee again. That's it, that's my intro. Hey, I'm Amanda, you're watching Swell Entertainment, and today we're in my kitchen. Um, the lighting here is terrible, so I have stolen my father's ring light. Also, audio might be weird because I have it a little farther away from me than I would usually like, and it's also lower than I would usually like, but I'm trying to keep it out of the way of anything that could potentially splash, burn, or harm my laptop, mic, or camera. So, we're just making adjustments today. It's gonna be fun. But anyway, yes, we are reviewing the new rebranded version of Chamberlain Coffee. I bought all five options. Here is what I spent on Chamberlain Coffee. Arguably too much money, but for you guys, it's worth it. Emma Chamberlain is a very popular YouTuber. It's funny because on my last video on Chamberlain Coffee, so many people were like, I don't know who she is, which is kind of interesting to me because I figured like I'd have at least some of her demographic, not a lot, but some of it, but I don't think I do. I think there's very little overlap between me and Emma Chamberlain's demographics, but I reviewed her original launch of Chamberlain Coffee. There was a lot of issues with that launch and already this launch is very different, but I'll talk about that in a second. But here's my video linked up above if you would like to go see it. I probably am pointing at the wrong side of the screen, we'll see, but this is the original branding. Very different. See, Emma Chamberlain originally did Chamberlain coffee bags. Inside here is a tea bag with coffee grounds in it. Put it in a cup of water. This is why I don't film downstairs. This is, this is why. That's my dad's work phone. I don't even answer that. Like I can't fix the problem. You either take one of these bags and you put it in a cup of hot water and you have a cup of coffee, or you take three of the bags and make Emma Chamberlain's cold brew overnight. So many of you watched that video and saw me drink the cold brew concentrate. Like just straight up put the almond milk in it like it was directed and just drink the cold brew. And so many of you in the comments were freaking out because you thought, oh my God, you're not supposed to do that. Isn't that gonna stop your heart? Which is adorable, frankly. For those of you who don't know, I was working in a coffee shop until August of this year when I did my first Chamberlain coffee video. I was working in a coffee shop and my tolerance for caffeine was dumb. So dumb, dumb, like it either, it either lessened my life or extended my life. There's no in between, it did something. I don't know what, but it did something. We would do toddy bombs, so basically instead of like a shot of alcohol or a shot of espresso, we would just do straight shots of cold brew concentrate. You wanna wake up for a 5 a.m. shift, that'll wake you the fuck up. Basically what you are able to consume caffeine wise all comes down to your tolerance level. For example, if you only drink maybe one cup of coffee a day or even every couple of days, if you have straight cold brew, there's a very real chance you're gonna feel like your veins are trying to vibrate out of your skin. My tolerance is significantly lower now because I have insomnia and I was sleeping terribly the last couple of months, but I cut down significantly on my caffeine intake, especially after I left my job. So I don't know what's gonna happen today because I'm gonna drink at least four of these. I have a percolator and I have a French press. And yes, this time I am using a kettle to boil my water because you guys made fun of me last time when I used my CBTL coffee maker. I would make one of these in the coffee maker if CBTL or coffee bean did refillable coffee pods for their machines, but they don't. Once I went into a coffee bean and asked if that was an option, like, oh, can I order it online? Can I do something like that? And the guy said, well, you can just use one of the plastic ones and put tin foil over it and reuse it. Cause that's what I want in my morning coffee aluminum. Basically what happened with the first round of Chamberlain coffee is there was a lot of issues with shipping, specifically of the bundles. People who just ordered the coffee got their orders no problem, but people who got the bundles, specifically the mug bundles like I did, had a lot of issues because there was a misprint on the mug so they had to reorder everything and there was a lot of back and forth. It was a lot of bullshit. The original Chamberlain coffee was used through Bixby. They sourced their coffee from Bixby, which is a coffee production company that does the steepable coffee bags. Very clearly looking at this, I'm sorry, this does not look like Emma Chamberlain, like her brand, none of that, okay? This just looks like they slapped her name onto something that someone else designed, which I'm not saying that she designed any of this shit, but the branding already much more Emma Chamberlain. So for this round of Chamberlain coffee, they did offer, again, the steepable coffee bags. I hated those. I hate them still, okay? I have saved some of these for my internet collection. The flavor really wasn't there. I wasn't a fan of it. And cold brew, everyone was complaining about my method for cold brew or whatever. I did the same size jar 
that the recipe called for. Just because in her video she did a different size jar, I'm going off of the recipe that was readily available on the website where I bought the coffee from. It's my understanding that for everything they had the coffee bags available. I don't like those, so this is all ground coffee. They also had full bean. I don't have a grinder. I wasn't about to go spend more money on this concept. This version of Chamberlain Coffee Roast, they still have. It's called the Original Family Blend. This is the same coffee in this, or it's supposed to be. So this is the one that I'm going to save for cold brew, and I will drink that tomorrow. We'll do these two percolator, these two French press, and we'll go from there. We'll see if my heart stops on camera. Let's hope. That'd be good clickbait. They say the caffeine strength on the bottom of each bag. So this one has five out of five beans. This one has three out of five beans. And I think this is four out of five beans, but it's hard to tell. Two and a half out of five beans and four out of five beans. So let's see what happens. These are resillable bags, by the way. This is a fairly good sized French press, which is why I'm doing less water and then the coffee that I have, you know? So we're just gonna let that sit for a bit. And while that's sitting, I'm gonna start my percolator. Oh wait, you need to be able to see the label, okay. Nothing crazy. Probably could have added more coffee to that, even with the little amount of water that I did. Cause I let that steep for quite a while. It's a light roast, it's a bright and sweet, that makes sense. I don't necessarily say it's sweet. Obviously I'm not gonna say this is my favorite cause I haven't tried the others yet, but compared to at least the other coffee bag that I've tried of hers before, this is better, definitely. I also don't know who her coffee supplier is. I would assume that it would be Bixby again, but considering I can't find Bixby's marketing or branding anywhere on the site like I did last time, I don't think it is. She definitely still owns all the coffee bags from before because she's selling what's left of those, I believe. But I think she may have cut ties with Bixby, I'm not sure. One down, three to go, let's do this. Ah, that's hot, okay. We're gonna do way more coffee for the Night Owl blend, just to make sure that I'm getting the full tasting notes. Again, this definitely isn't bland, but I definitely could have used more coffee. Dark roast, creamy and rich tasting notes. I definitely get the rich smell from that. Yeah, we're gonna load up on this one. <laughs> San Francisco mug, here we go. Careless cat blend, this is a medium roast, smooth, warm. The website also has a lot of different um, recipes to try, but I have like no ingredients to try any of her recipes. And a lot of the recipes require that you use the coffee bags and not the ground coffee. So that's fun. Very hot. I don't know what it is with Chamberlain coffee because the first round of the coffee bags also tasted like a light roast, even though it was a medium roast. This medium roast, Tastes like a light roast as well. Are you having fun? Are you making fun of me? My dad just walked in. Oh, it's coffee and not food again? That's a drag. Now that it's cooled down a bit more, I'm getting more tasting notes, but it's still definitely not a medium roast. It's definitely not a dark roast. I would say it's definitely more of a, it tastes lighter. This was the first light roast. This is the early bird, right? Yeah, this one just tastes better. Next percolator batch of the social dog blend is going. So we're gonna press this bad boy down and give it a shot. Already, much more aromatic, okay? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but in my head it sounds right. Oh, you feel that in your cheekbones, okay. Oh God, that's fucking great, holy shit. Can't buy that one again, where the heck is that one? Okay, that is the Night Owl blend, yeah, I fucking bet it is, holy shit. This is more caffeine than that one, but God, that's good, holy crap. Well, that's good. For those wondering, I use unsweetened almond milk because sweet almond milk sucks. Yeah, adding almond milk or some type of milk, preferably a nut milk of some sort, absolutely lets you bring out more of the flavor, I think, in the coffee and takes away at least a little bit of the bite of the dark coffee, but if you like the bite, holy shit is it there. And again, I'm using different brew methods for these, so there's going to be a bit of a difference in how I experience the coffee versus how you experience it, depending on how you make it or if you, the coffee bags are, wow, 
Again, I feel that in my cheekbones. Whew. Remind me to eat something after this, because I'm already shaking. Whew. Ah, okay. Whew, that'll wake you up. Whew. I know I'm making really weird faces, but it's literally just because I don't drink dark roast coffee anymore. Ah, that bite, I'm not used to it anymore. It tastes delicious, but like my face feels like it wants to scrunch up. This is the Social Dog Blend. This is a medium roast, velvety sweet. Wow, I really missed out on both of these with the medium roast. I should have mixed that up a bit more. Oh, well. it's hot. Okay, so um, these taste exactly the fucking same. <laughs> yeah, this one has like a slight tang at the tip of your tongue, but that's really it. There's no real difference here. And before anyone tries to come for me, I made sure I cleaned the fuck out of this thing before I did a new one. This is not a bad cup of coffee. Neither was the first one. It's just not great <laughs> compared to the other ones. Like I said, I'm gonna do the cold brew with the family blend and I'm gonna let this steep, okay? for 24 hours, okay, not 12, 24. I'm gonna give this the best chance it has to impress me as a cold brew, okay? So I will insert a clip of me trying that tomorrow here. Me forgetting I had to do something? Never. I'm also filming this on my phone, so sorry if audio sucks. It is diluted so no one can lose their minds, but this is one third of the cold brew and then two thirds of water to dilute it. Let's see. Also, like I said, I totally forgot to do this. So it wasn't exactly 24 hours of steeping slash brewing. It was more like 30. So let's see what happens. Oh, that's good. It's definitely good. I'm just not a huge fan of cold brew coffee to begin with. So I know like this isn't going to be like, oh my God, this is amazing. I just won't be that person about this because it's just not my preferred. But there's plenty of flavor there. Even with how much I diluted it, it's still plenty of flavor in there for a cold brew. Probably with some almond milk or even like a little bit of vanilla syrup, like just a little, any type of vanilla flavoring, probably be dope in this. But yeah, it pretty much tastes exactly like the first round of Chamberlain coffee. So if you are one of the people, unlike me, who had Chamberlain coffee and you liked it the first round, absolutely the family blend is all for you. A little later in the afternoon, maybe I shouldn't be drinking this this late. It'd be wired. Oh, well, I have to edit, so it's fine. Anyway, back to yesterday when I filmed the outro. I don't know if I'm sweating because it's actually hot in here or if I'm sweating because there's so much coffee coursing through my veins. Overall, I think from a branding standpoint, this one is much more on brand for Emma Chamberlain. As far as a coffee standpoint, some of these are wins, some of these are misses, but that's the case when you have multiple types of coffee. Not everyone's gonna love everything. Frankly, my favorites are the early bird blend and the night owl blend. And again, that could be the method I use to brew them, but frankly, they're just delicious and I just apparently don't like the medium roasts that are available for Emma Chamberlain coffee. But as far as flavor goes overall, these were the best. If you want a more mild coffee, even though this is the light roast, I would say go with either Social Dog Blend or Careless Cat Blend. The mug is a mug. It'll be added to my mug collection with the other Chamberlain coffee mug that had so many issues attached to it. There really is nothing to complain about with the order or the company dynamics this time around. The order came in a timely fashion. They actually sent me a packing slip with my order this time. As far as a rebrand and a relaunch of a company goes, spot on, home run. You did great, Emma Chamberlain. But that's gonna be it. Did you watch my first Chamberlain coffee video? What did you think of Chamberlain coffee if you got the chance to try it yourself? Are you more willing to try Chamberlain coffee now that there is more variety? Are you willing to try the coffee bags? Have you tried those before? I hated them, frankly, but you might like them. Let me know. Comment down below. Shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. If you'd also like to support me on Patreon, that'll be listed down below. If you'd like to follow me on all my social media, that'll be all up here. And that's going to be it. Have a lovely day. Goodbye. Dakota, I'm so sorry. This line went bad. Thank you, Elaine, Alan, Elise, Cameron, Christopher, Chris, Cody, Colton, Crash, PC, David, Devin, Dawn, Elliot, Aaron, Essen, Evan, Exo, Feckles, Hopeless, Jason, John, M, Jonathan, Jordan, Joseph, Kenny, Kevin, Kim, Kristen, Lisa, Manga, Matt, Matthew, S, Mimo, The Red, Michael, Michael, J, Nathaniel, Pat, Prolog, Rob, Robert, Rob, Sadie, Sam, Simon, Stefan, Tasha, Timothy, Tom, Trevor, Wayne, Wendy, William, Zendry.